हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स इन दिस लेसन विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट लाइजोसोम्स दिस कोर्स इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी नवनीत शर्मा यू कैन नो मोर अबाउट मी फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन दिस लिंक एंड इफ यू लाइक द लेसन काइंडली रेट रिव्यू एंड रिकमेंड नाउ बिगनिंग विद द लेसन लाइजोसोम्स दीज आर दीज आर फर्स्टली ऑब्जर्व इन द लिवर सेल्स दे आर वन टू टू मिली माइक्रोन इन साइज दीज आर सिंगल मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड स्ट्रक्चर्स they were firstly called as pericanalicular dense bodies christian de duve called them lysosomes in 1955 so the name lysosomes was given by christian de duve uh, they were named as lysosomes because they contain hydrolytic enzymes uh, which are which are useful for the degradation and uh, uh, digestion of many food particles and other substances occurrence they are present in all animal cells except the mammalian rbcs remember that in the, in the mammalian rbcs ribosomes are absent and now they are more in, found more in uh, liver cells spleen cells uh, kidneys etc in bacteria so they are absent bacteria are prokaryotes remember that and then uh, lysosomes are completely absent shape and size uh, they are uh, round or spherical bodies they are 0.4 to 0.8 milli microns in size Each lysosome is covered with a unit membrane. It encloses a dense matrix. It shows two regions: the outer dense part and central less dense part. Uh, next, we have chemical composition. Every lysosome will show hydrolytic enzyme. Uh, they are important in the digestion of food, such as uh, uh, like as forty enzymes are recognized till now in the lysosomes. Okay. Uh, polymorphism in the lysosomes or kind of lysosomes in the same cell at different times or in different cells at the same time four kinds of lysosomes are reported means totally there are four kinds of lysosomes uh first of all we have the primary lysosome or storage granule it is a newly formed uh, lysosome it forms it is formed from the golgi body uh, it it is formed through the gerl which means the golgi associated with endoplasmic reticulum will give rise to lysosome this was stated by dyson in 1978 this statement that is gerl uh, by heart this that is golgi associated endoplasmic reticulum will give rise to lysosome okay yeah. this was uh, given by dyson in 1978 this is called the original lysosome next we have phagosome or pinosome or uh, digestive vacuole uh, original uh, lysosome unit uh, with the phagocytic or pinocytic vesicle and forms a phagosome okay in this phagosome the food is digested next we have autophagic vacuole or auto lysosome when the organism is in a state of starvation the lysosome will start digesting the cell contents such lysosome is called as autophagic vacuole okay next we have the residual body after the process of digestion in the phagosome or autophagic vacuole some materials are not digested okay undigested material is left out these leftovers are uh, found in the residual body that is such lysosomes with the undigested food is called as the residual body this residual body will send the undigested matter through the plasma membrane to the outside of the cell through uh, through this process the excretion of uh, undigested materials takes place in the cell so basically uh, the lysosome is a intracellular digestive and excretory uh, uh, organelle of the cell okay in the nerve and muscle cells residual bodies are more in number they are called as lipofuscin granules by the estimation of these granules the age can be uh, calculated or decided means uh, the more is the number of lipofuscin granules in a cell the more uh, age it has achieved okay so there is a diagram of formation of lysosomes it is based on the uh, statement given by dyson uh, so you can refer to the diagram there is a rough endoplasmic reticulum and uh, protein synthesis linked with the many uh, enzymes and uh, transport processes 
and through these uh, after uh, it, it is transported to the golgi complex and from it uh, from there from there it is it forms the li uh, lysosomes okay so lysosomes are formed in this way uh, the polymorphic tendency of lysosomes is not real it is connected with the digestive activity of the lysosomes uh, now we have the biogenesis of lysosome the origin of lysosome is not clearly known according to dyson uh, in uh, with who in 1978 gave that the lysosomes arise from golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum uh, which i have already stated earlier the protein granules produced by ribosome uh, is stored in the endoplasmic reticulum okay uh, they move into the smooth endoplasmic reticulum from there they move into the golgi body okay now then they are concentrated and modified as uh, primary lysosomes that is the original lysosomes that first type of lysosome that i have already told you now the functions of lysosome digestion of uh, large extracellular particles on the outside so the first first and foremost function uh, the liposomal enzymes lysosomal enzymes will be discharged outside of the cell and digest the material present outside of the cell okay the digestion uh, in cell or intracellular digestion the lysos lysosomes will digest the food that enters into the cell uh, there is the cellular digestion the lysosomes can digest the entire cell it is called as the autolysis because of which they do a call them the suicidal bags of the cell you must remember it from your previous classes uh, uh, that lyso which organelle is called as the suicidal bags of the cell it is lysosome okay and now autolysis is a very important feature to the organism so which is performed through the uh, lysosome it helps in uh, maintaining a constant number of cells at a, at a particular tissue and uh, uh, it, help, it also helps in the removal of unnecessary cells and an example of it is uh, the degeneration of tadpole tail in the uh, life history of frog it is a result of autolysis okay so through which the uh, larva of the tad, uh, tadpole frog is converted into an adult okay so through the destruction uh, new life history begins then then we have autophagy when the cell is in starvation the lysosome of cell will start digesting the cell contents this is called as the autophagy then is the sperm penetration during fertilization the acrosome of sperm will produce uh, lysosomal enzymes so they are useful for Uh, then the chromosome breaks lysosome shows acid dna's it will break the chromosome and cause the rearrangement okay now finally we have uh, the list of some hydrolytic enzymes in the lysosomes these are the nucleases first of all um, these are of two types acid ribonucleases and acid deoxyribonucleases so which have the substrate like of uh, polypeptides of rna and dna and the result of them is pentose sugar phosphates and nitrogenous bases Enzyme is lipase, uh, the substrate is lipids, and the result is fatty acids. When the enzyme is proteases and peptidases, the substrate is proteins, and the result is amino acids. When the enzyme is phosphatases, uh, the uh, substrate being oligonucleotides, and the result is phosphates and fatty acids, etc. Then we have glucosidases as enzymes, which are many enzyme groups are included. Uh, substrate of which being the carbohydrates, and the result of which is the monosaccharides. So I hope you guys like the lesson. So keep learning and. Uh, Stay happy. Thank you guys for watching.